What's going on guys, it's who you talking to, and this is going to be all of the Valorant agents and their abilities. If you guys like a specific agent, drop a comment down below and tell me which agent that is. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button. Also comment down below if you guys want to see some more Valorant gameplay. Also subscribe if you guys are new around here, you want to see some more content on my channel. Also hit that post notification bell so you guys know when I post a new video. And let's get right into this video. In Valorant, there's four different archetypes for each agent. First one is Duelists. They are self-sufficient fraggers who their team expects through abilities and skills to get high frags and seek out engagements first. The Controllers, an expert in slicking up dangerous territory to set their team up for success. Initiators challenge angles by setting up their team to enter contested ground and push defenders away and sentinel defensive experts who can lock down areas and watch flanks both on attacker and defender rounds the first agent we're going to be looking at is phoenix the first ability that we have for phoenix is blaze it summons a wall of fire that blocks vision and hurts anyone that goes through it it can heal you can also be bent its next ability is curveball Throw a flash bang that curves left or right and then blinds the opponents for five seconds. I say when I say. Here's what it looks like when you get hit with a curveball. What? His next ability is hot hands. Throws a fireball that covers a small area for a short amount of time. You can also heal you. This is what it looks like when you get hit. His ultimate is run it back. It marks your current location and starts a timer. If it expires or if you die, you respawn at your marked location. 30 seconds oh, left. The next agent I'm going to be talking about is Jet. Her first ability is Cloud Burst. It throws a smoke grenade that blocks vision when it lands. Her next ability is Updraft. It launches you upwards. Her third ability is Tailwind, dashes you a short distance in whichever direction you choose. Her ultimate is Blade Storm. You wield multiple throwing knives that deal moderate damage, but kill on headshot. Getting kill gives you all your throwing knives back. You can choose to throw one at a time for more accuracy or all remaining with less accuracy. This is what she looks like when she has her Blade Storm. The next agent I'm going to be talking about is Viper. Her first ability is Snake Bite. Fires a projectile that creates a pool of acid. This is what it looks like when you get hit by Snake Bite. Her next ability is Poison Cloud. Throws a gas bomb that emits a cloud of poisonous smoke. With the cost of fuel, you can pick it up and throw it again after a short cooldown. This is what it looks like when you're in the poison cloud. Her next ability is Toxic Screen. And then it's a line of gas get out of it. that can be activated and create a wall of gas but cost fuel. And her ultimate is Viper's Pit. Creates a poison cloud that covers a large area when inside enemies start to lose health until they get to one. The team is also able to see where enemies are inside the gas. The next agent on the list is Sova. Sova's first ability is Shock Bolt. Fires a bolt that radiates damaging bursts of energy when hit. Shock done. His next ability is Aldron. Flying drone to scout the map. Fires darts that reveals enemies. Thirty seconds left. They are. Them. This is what it looks like when you get hit by the Aldron. The 
his next ability is Recon Bolt. Fires an arrow that marks and reveals nearby enemies. It can also Revealing be destroyed. Area. There they are. And his ultimate is Hunter's Fury. Fires three oh, energy blasts that goes through walls and travels the length of the map. Any enemies that are hit take fatal damage and are shown to you. Here's what it looks like when you get hit by his ultimate. The next agent we're going to be looking at is Cypher. Cypher's first ability is Trapwire. Places a tripwire between two walls that restrains and reveals any enemies that cross it. It can be retrieved and reused. It can also be destroyed by shooting the base of the trapwire. Its next ability is Cyber Cage. Places a trap when activated, it slows down enemies who pass through it. Reveals their location, and Cyber can also deactivate and detonate the traps. Its next ability is Spy Cam. It's a remote camera that can be manually operated to fire tracking birds at enemies. Got you. This is what it looks like when you get hit by a dart. And his ultimate is called Neutral Thief. Steal Excellent. intel from a dead man during the location of the allies. The next agent I'm going to be talking about is Brimstone. His first ability is Incinerary. Those an incinerary grenade that covers an area in flames. Molly! This is what it looks like when you're hit with an incinerary grenade. <laughs> His next ability is Stem Beacon. Places a beacon that gives any players nearby a boost to fire speed. Stem Beacon down. Not so tough after all. His next ability is Sky Smoke. Uses your map to call in multiple smoke screens to block vision. Down. And its ultimate is Orbital Strike, causing a deadly orbital strike that strikes at a target area repeatedly over several times. Open up the sky! This is what it looks like when you get hit by the orbit. Prepare for hellfire! The next agent we're going to be looking at, my favorite, Sage. Her first ability is Slow Orb. Goes an orb that creates a zone of ice that slows down anybody that passes through it, preventing them from jumping. It has a distinct noise when they move through it. Her next ability is Barrier Orb. Creates a large wall, can be broke by shooting it or stabbing it. Thirty seconds left. Her next ability is her healing orb. Heals you or your teammate over several seconds. And her ultimate is Resurrection. Allows an ally to full health after a quick delay. Your duty is not over! <laughs> of course you still need me. The next agent we're gonna be doing. His first ability is Paranoia. Launches a shadow clone in a straight line that inflicts anyone it touches with blindness. His next ability is Shadow Walk. After a delay, you can teleport a short distance.
This next ability is Dark Cover. It throws a stealth orb that explodes into a sphere of a shadow. Once it reaches its destination, it can be charged and increase its distance. Cover going out. and his ultimate is from the shadows. You can teleport to anywhere on the map, it takes a few seconds to complete. Enemies can see a shadow spot on the map, they can cancel the teleport by killing you. You can become invincible for a short amount of time after teleporting. The next action I'm going to be talking about is Breach. His first ability is called Aftershock. He fires an explosive charge that breaches through walls and damages the we go. We bring in the body bags. His next ability is called Flashpoint. He fires a flash charge into a wall that flashes in the opposite side. Flash out. His next ability is called Fault Line. It creates a concussive quake in a straight line in front of Breach that disorients enemies aim and travels through walls. Forever! In a fair fight, I'd still kill you. And this ultimate is called Rolling Thunder. It fires a powerful seismic charge that travels through walls. It dazes enemies and knocks enemies upwards. job gets a whole lot easier and last but not least raise her first ability is blast pack instantly throws a blast pack that will stick to any surface reuse ability after deployment to detonate damaging and moving Satchel anything out. hit by it her next ability is the boom bot prior to deploy the boom bot travels in a straight line bouncing off of walls, Goomba okay. will lock on to any enemies that's in front of it. Her next ability is Paint Shells. It equips a cluster grenade which does damage. Each grenade will do damage if it's in this range. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And her ultimate is called Showstopper. It equips a rocket launcher that does massive area damage. This is going to be the end of this video. This took a while to make and about three hours to edit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button. Also, comment down below if you guys want to see some more Valorant gameplay. Also, subscribe if you guys are new around here and want to see some more Valorant. Hit that post notification bell so you guys know when I post a new video. I hope you guys all enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time.